What do you want? You want to watch me kill yet another one? Ryu Keikiko, Tanshinko Shinden, Gao So Ryu, and Rei Shu! Everything that's happened between you and Mitsuomi. Aya fell sound asleep the second her head hit the pillow. She must have been completely exhausted. It's late. All of you need to get some rest. Don't you think there's something a bit more pressing right now? Yeah, we want to know what happened. But it's late. My brother didn't used to be like this at all. But then, one day he just changed. All I want to know is what caused it. Please, tell us what happened, Captain. Takayanagi. I'll start from the beginning. When I first met Mitsuomi, I was in the ninth grade. The only thing that I ever thought about back then was how I could become stronger. Like a steel blade that could slice through anything in its path. Stronger. That's all. Well now, you're the one I've heard about from the head clan of the Gaokishi style. Huh, I'm so disappointed. I was really hoping you'd bring a lot more to this fight. But if this is the kind of trash you hang around with, you can't be all that tough. Two people can't be crowned the strongest in this city. You're gonna have to face me, Mitsuomi Takayanagi. You're weak. You were saying something a few minutes ago about being the strongest person in this city. Well, I'm not that guy. I know someone a whole lot stronger than me. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your older brother, Maya Natsume. But how... how did you know who I was? Oh man, is it over already? Well, we're late, because you had to go chase after that chick. What's up? Is that you on the ground, Maya? Don't tell me you lost another fight. But how did you... Sheen, what's up? So why are you here? Well, I got this call from Mitsuomi yesterday. He wanted to know what he should do if he ended up having to fight you. So I told him to stop stressing about it and just kick your ass. Why did you... Team Katana. Mitsuomi might be able to fill my shoes when I'm gone. You should have seen that. <sighs> Ah, oh, come on. Don't tell me that you dragged the Chokuto Reiki with you tonight. Chokuto Reiki? That cursed thing's been handed down in the Natsume family for generations. <laughs> Next time, I don't want it to have to go like this. I mean, I really went all out on her. And I gotta say, having to hit a girl ain't all that fun, you know? Well, now, when the boy speaks, he speaks his mind. Listen to you. Now don't start you want me to give you a lift? Come on, stop. Sheen. Are you hurt bad? I'm fine. I can get home on my own. She was crying. She had her face all scrunched up. What? Man, I knew going all out like that on a chick was a bad idea. Will you stop freaking out? She's gonna be fine. As soon as she goes and has something to eat, she'll be back to normal. Sheen, you have a really messed up way of letting your sibling know that you care about her. Maya probably came here tonight because she knew that you would show up, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, if you don't get it, then you're just not gonna get it. What's up with you? You're acting weird. You know, I gotta say, she's really cute. Huh? I can see how I could totally fall for her. The reunion came soon afterwards. 
And then, that spring... The 287 students that are here today promise to endure hardships, as well as share in each other's victories. By using our rivals to make us stronger, we vow to master our studies in both academics and the martial arts. I present this oath to you on behalf of the freshman class. All right, congratulations first-termers on making it in here. I'm Shin Natsume, head of the Executive Council. But who I am isn't what's important. But listen up, because I'm going to tell you what is important. This academy will be a paradise for you. I have absolutely no doubt that your next four years at this school are going to be some of the most exciting years of your life. This place is pretty nice. Our cherry trees aren't anywhere near this big. I wouldn't have attended the ceremony either if I didn't have to make some speech. Don't talk to me as if I'm your friend. You're ruining a perfectly good, depressing moment. My brother swears he can hear the blooms laughing and cheering when they start to fall like this. But what I see is the empty shell of a demolished life. Just so you know, I didn't lose to you when we fought each other last time. I would have continued on with the match if my brother hadn't shown up. The fight is not over, so don't go out there and let someone else rip your head off. The next time you and I fight, I'm gonna be a whole lot stronger. <laughs> Guess everyone's here. Katana's bodyguards are present and accounted for. Uh, um, uh, Bunchichi, do you always sit? This is my personal napping spot. W were you here yesterday? You know, you should really find a chick who's a bit less scary. Uh, he heard everything. Now, someone took out Kibo last night. You mean Katana hunting? Apparently. He's the third guy this month. I know our team's made a lot of enemies, but someone hasn't picked such an obvious fight against us in a long time. Yep. I feel bad for the guys we've lost, but Sheen wasn't so upset. Sometimes people just don't know what an amazing weapon a katana is, unless you show someone just how deep it can cut. Got it? <laughs> Well now, you're Maya Natsume, aren't you? Be a sweetheart and hand this to your brother for me. And then tell him one more thing. This school ain't gonna be no paradise anymore. It's gonna be hell. Now that you've got somebody like me roaming your hallways. Tell him yourself. I'm not a bulletin board. Don't act tough. 
I used to hear your name all over the place when I was in middle school. But I'm guessing by now you've probably figured out that they were all just going easy on you, out of respect for your big brother. <laughs> Go on. Say that again. I dare you. What? Oh no. What did I do? Did I upset you? So sorry. Maybe you should go find out where your big brother is so you can tell on me. That mean boy made me cry, brother. Will you please go and beat him up for me? Brother lover. <laughs> just so you know, when I'm fighting a girl, I hit him just as hard as when I'm fighting a guy. <laughs> A mono-style mahjong fist! <laughs> Ten holes! He's fast! Really so! <laughs> Duran Portal! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, Sh Sheen! You're not good enough to walk around here with an attitude! You act like you're a tiger, but you're just some chick with cockroach hair! He's really tough! If we help her out now by stepping in, her body may not take on a great deal of damage, but the scar that it'll leave in her heart will be there forever. That's a fate much worse than death for a martial artist. Understand? Yeah, but... Tough it out. Especially if you think you really are in love with Maya. This is hard for me, too. Consider giving up. Guys don't like a girl who's too persistent. Asshole! Damn it! Maya! This fight is lame! Why don't you start hitting back? You're boring everybody to tears here! But, but Sheen. <laughs> well, thanks for showing up. I didn't think that you'd arrive this quickly. I was really taken by your speech yesterday. Man, you're so cool. Ah, oh, but your attacks are so much cooler. And if it isn't little Mitsuomi standing there next to you, so then, you're still a little shit clinging to some big fish's ass. Who the hell are you? Come on, introduce yourself, dammit! <laughs> right. Name's Masayuki Sanada, Red Mahjong Devil of Fifth Middle, and I didn't come here to fight you. I just want... To fight this guy right here. Let me ask you something. I just want to know, you the guy after the katana members? And what'd you do if I was? Huh? I'd say try again in your next life, jackass. <laughs> Bastard! Now listen here, Mr. Red Mahjong Devil. This fight is nowhere near over. So if you're not gonna attack, then I guess I will. Ah! Wait, hold on! You go, girl! So was the fan service a bit much? Oh, that was awesome! Stop picking stupid fights like that. It's getting embarrassing having to watch them. Oh, yeah? Well, then how come every time that I'm in a fight, you show up to check it out, huh? Go away! If you want me to leave you alone, finish the damn fight before I get there! Don't touch me! Stop making a fight! I said go away! Uh, whatever. This guy is gonna die! Someone! Call an ambulance! Hurry up! Did you hear me? Hurry up! He might still be able to make it! You don't need an ambulance. <laughs> Kuzunoha Needle Kokan Seiso. Kuzunoha?
Now if we just stitch up his abdomen, he'll recover without a problem. You'll see. I'm afraid you're not going to be able to make it in this school if you're fretting over something as small as this. Mitsuomi. Oh, okay. You're Mana Kuzunoa. You're Shin's girlfriend, am I right? <laughs> I wouldn't let yourself get too worked up over this. Sheen was going easy on him. If I didn't show up, he still wouldn't have died. Providing, of course, that he was taken to a hospital. Yeah, but the attack he used was a Tashinko attack. That rips through muscles with just a finger. That move attacks the internal organs, especially the liver. It's a killer. You're not taking it easy by using that move. I'm surprised. The Takayanagi clan, head of the Galkishi style of martial arts, has such a kind man like you for their heir. Who would have thought? You'd be even more surprised if you met my little brother, Masataka. That guy is even nicer than I am. Or maybe he just seems that way because he's always daydreaming. <laughs> so, Mitsuomi, are you available after school today? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but are you sure that's gonna be all right? Shin can get really jealous sometimes. If he catches wind that his girlfriend and me were hanging out all alone together... <laughs> You're getting a lot stronger, but your attacks are still all over the place. You gotta learn when it's time to attack and time to all hold back. All right! That's enough! It's not enough. This is something really important. That type of fighting may be good enough for middle school, but I gotta tell you, if you wanna make it in this academy... I said I don't wanna hear anymore! I'm tired of you treating me like a little girl! Why'd you have to help me out like that? Come on. Did you really think that somehow I wouldn't notice? Don't ever do it again! Maya, to be perfectly honest, the last thing I want is to have to watch you grow stronger. You see, all you have to do is stay by my side. You should always be with me, no matter what. Hmm? Did you just say something? I missed it. Don't worry, it was nothing. Miss Kuzunoa? Where are you? Miss Kuzunoa? Why'd she want to meet in this old building? Uh... Miss Kuzunoa? Hey, don't surprise me like that, okay? Uh... Uh... Miss Kuzunoa? What, what is this all about? I think that you know. Don't tell me that even someone of your caliber is afraid of Sheen. You said earlier that his move was a killer. Well, it's always like that. He always makes bad choices whenever Maya is involved. If he didn't have me around, who knows how many people he would have killed by now. I don't know if you noticed, but those two have a strange relationship. They're more like two people who are madly in love with each other than brother and sister. During that fight, it wasn't her opponent that she saw before her. It was Sheen. It's always just one man that she sees. Always. Are you going to hate me for doing this? No. Hey, don't you think this has gone on long enough? How much longer are you gonna tail me, Mr. Katana Hunter? I'm Ishimatsu, Katana's chief bodyguard, and I will gladly fight you.
してねもっと愛してねもっと愛してよねって At. What's this you're listening to? Don't look away from me, or Sheen for that matter. Next episode of Tenjo Tenge, one with an unusual talent. You shall know the shape of darkness. <laughs> <laughs>